Uh, I got I got a few more topics that I can do, but uh, this next topic that we're gonna talk about is about our uh our friends from the she her slash they them slash him he community. You know those guys. Um, apparently there's been a women's basketball high school women's basketball team uh that played in their normal season they're playing against you know women and uh next thing you know a a boy with a longer uh hair follicles comes on the court And uh, what do you think happened? What do you think happened? I'll tell you what happened. He broke somebody's back. He broke somebody's back. At this point, I'd I'd rather live with cows. <laughs> I'd rather live with cows for sure, uh, Jen. But this guy, um, this guy decided that he wanted to get on the court with other females and play basketball with them. And uh, they ended up having to quit the game because this guy was actually physically hurting the females. Let's tune into the video and see what's happening on these straight, these, these, this side of town. Except this video showing boys playing on girls' teams is anything but fair. It's dangerous. This isn't about the suspected transgender kid. It really isn't. We should all have compassion for anybody who's going through such a difficult and confusing time as a teenager. So just put him or her, or however they would like to be identified, aside for a second. This is about all the other girls on the court. They also deserve fairness. There's nothing fair about playing against people born of the opposite sex who are twice one size. There's nothing fair about getting beat up Y'all, y'all see how this boy is just manhandling this these we these these females. It's not UFC, bro. On a basketball court where the referees live in fear of trans activists. There's nothing fair about a school where the coaches do the right thing only for the administrators to both sides their statement. Sylvia Hatchell's with us, former head basketball coach for the University of North Carolina Lady Tar Heels, the fifth most career wins in women's college basketball history. In an odd way, are you happy of all the issues that you had to deal with that this wasn't one of them? Yes, I am. And I would like to uh, pat the coach on the back yeah. for uh, taking his team uh, off uh, and, and taking a stand because you know, playing against transgenders, it's not fair and it's not equal. It's not a level playing field. So uh, the females should not have to play against transgenders. Women's sports is women's sports. Y'all men need to stay out of it. Y'all cannot. Like, this is not acceptable, man. Just stay out of it. If you were born a biological male, compete against biological male. Even if you feel like a woman, like you're not. You're not. This ain't right. This ain't fair. And these are a bunch of people's daughters out here having to deal with this nonsense. It's nonsense. Uh, we're going to get to sort of the, the issues of where this is going in society in a minute. But one thing that's sort of bothered me from the beginning about this, especially when it's a, a physical sport, uh, that there's so clearly a difference, right? Average male player, six feet, wingspan, five, six, vertical jump, 28 inches. Average women's players, five, six. I think this is in high school, um, five, two, and a 20 inch wingspan. There is no comparison here. And obviously, we can see the video. This individual we're talking about is over six feet tall. Um, clearly physically very different. Do you have any idea why young men want to compete against young girls? I don't get it. Well, maybe they can't be successful playing against guys. That is it. That's the truth. That's the truth right there. 
they won't be successful playing against men like they are. So they decide to go where the competition is easier for them <laughs> and they dominate over there. I'm not I'm not even I don't even mean to laugh, but this is this is just like come on. It's obvious. It's obvious. They can't they can't they can't they can't fool anybody out there. And so, you know, they play against women just like the swimmer did uh against Brittany Gaines. You know, uh, so I, I don't know, but it's it's just not yeah. fair and equal. You know, in seventy two, I was a sophomore in college when Title Nine was passed. Title IX was passed to make things fair and equal for females. And having to play against transgenders is not fair and it's not equal. If you just made this point, if you're 6'5", you're 6'5". I don't care if you've had an operation or you're taking hormones or what, you're still 6'5". And the wingspan, I mean, it's just it's just not fair and sure. it's not equal. It, it's really, it, it's disappointing that we're actually having to go through this and debate this. So, uh, but it is disappointing. And you can look at the video. You could clearly tell, bro. That's a that's a whole guy. You could just clearly look at him and see, like, oh, that's just a guy with a ponytail on. <laughs> like, like this is not fair. Y'all. It's not fair. It's it, at some point we got to protect women's rights. And if the women don't want it, like obviously like i think that's a, a clear clear sign that it should not be happening yeah. but I, it, it, it does I, sometimes feel like you're arguing against the win when you're sort of saying what you're saying which is this not fair look in the case of leah thomas the swimmer who you're talking about right. there's no there's no chance of people getting hurt right it's not fair perhaps that uh, someone can you know some young man or some man beats beats a woman's swimmer um, and takes away what is rightfully their honor of being uh, the fastest swimmer or something. But in this case, you actually are dealing with kids getting injured. Um, you've seen a lot of changes in sports. And obviously, when Title IX was passed, it was extraordinarily controversial. Where do you see this going now? What has to happen, you think, for this to, to actually change? Well, a lot of states have already made rulings, but it's probably going to yeah. end up in the support. You know, uh, I mean, I, I would see that going there, but you know, you're talking about why would a, a transgender want to play, a male transgender want to play against females? Well, maybe he's not that successful playing against men, and you know, he can feed his ego and be successful yeah. uh, playing against females. So, but again, you know, it, it's you, you, your in, the injuries are there, and then also the opportunities for other women. To be on that court right. and be playing, you know, when when the transgender is out there, but and nothing against women. Women are phenomenal people. They're phenomenal uh, athletes in their own ways. But I'm not going to be boasting and bragging if I if I play a basketball game against a female and and I think that I'm so good. I'll be honest with you. It's sad. It's sad. If that's feeding his ego. He needs, I mean, he already needs help, but he needs help. 